This video was produced by... A common thing that you may encounter in electronics device testing is the need to provide multiple voltages to a device under test. Here I'm going to demonstrate how we can create multiple voltages that are referenced to each other. In this instance, I'm going to demonstrate how we can set up two single output laboratory power supplies to provide a positive 5 volts and a negative 5 volts to devices under tests. Often this will be encountered when you're designing and testing systems that involve operational amplifiers or op amps. And you will see that in your laboratory assignments. So, in order to create uh, a positive 5 volts and a negative 5 volts from the power supplies, we're going to set the two laboratory power supplies up independently from each other and then reference them together. We know that before we turn any of the power supplies on, the first thing that we want to do is make sure that all of the output knobs, both the voltage and the current, on each instrument is turned all the way counterclockwise so that we have no output. The next thing that I'm going to do, and that you will probably need to do most of the time for safety's sake, is to reference the voltage outputs to the building ground or to the uh, power, uh, AC power line ground. Here, since we're trying to generate a positive 5 volts and a negative 5 volts, we're going to have to tie or use the binding posts, the ground reference binding posts, uh, to tie the positive and negative terminals of the different power supplies uh, to the ground reference. I'm going to generate a negative 5 volts with respect to the building ground with this power supply. So in order to do that, I'm going to tie the binding post for the ground reference to the positive output terminal of this uh, power supply. By doing so, I'm ensuring that the output voltage of this power supply will create a voltage difference between the positive and negative terminals with respect to the building ground. Since the positive terminal, or the high, high voltage terminal, is tied to ground, that means that the negative voltage terminal, or the low voltage terminal, has to be below ground, or negative in this case. With this power supply, I'm going to generate my positive voltage, my positive 5 volts. So in this case, I want to reference that positive 5 volts to the building ground by tying the binding posts for the building ground to my negative terminal. And in this way, I will generate my positive voltage where the reference is tied to the building ground. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on both of the power supplies and set the output voltage of the power supplies. Again, I'm going, since I'm trying to generate 5 volts, positive and negative, I'm going to use the course adjust knob to try to get close to 5 volts of output. And then use the fine adjust knob to hone in on that value. And sometimes the course adjust knob is fairly sensitive. So it takes a little finesse to get it there. Okay. So now, this power supply is providing 5 volts of potential between the red terminal and the black terminal. And the red terminal is referenced to 0. So the black terminal will have 5 volts with respect to the building ground in the negative direction. On this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set the voltage output close to 5 volts with my course adjust knob and use the fine adjust knob to hone in to the exact voltage that I need. Okay. And now this power supply is providing 5 volts with respect to the building ground. So the positive output terminal is our positive 5 volts. I'm going to turn the power supplies off. So now we have a positive 5 volt supply with respect to building ground and a negative 5 volt supply with respect to building ground. But the two are not necessarily referenced to each other. Uh, since the binding posts 
tie directly into building ground. If the two power supplies are plugged into the wall outlet close to each other, they probably are already referenced to each other. But just to make sure that we are generating 5 volts, um, positive 5 volts and negative 5 volts with respect to the same ground potential, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a banana plug to banana plug and I'm going to connect my two grounds together. What this ensures is that both of these power supplies have the same ground reference. That means that they are tied to each other so that the potential, the positive potential generated here and the negative potential generated here are all with respect to the same zero voltage reference. Now that I've done that, I can plug in my output leads. This one will give us our negative 5 volts. This one will give us our positive 5 volts. And, of course, our equipment is going to have to have some ground reference to it as well. So I will plug this into one of the ground reference posts. And when I turn the power supplies back on, if I measure with a voltmeter, between the black terminal and the red terminal here, I should have negative 5 volts. Between the black terminal and the red terminal here, I should have a positive 5 volt output with an overall potential of 10 volts difference between this, this red terminal and this black terminal right here. Of course, there are infinite configurations. You can generate positive uh, voltages like a positive 5 and a positive 12 volts that are referenced to each other, or you can generate multiple negative voltages. You can tie several of these together if you need positive uh, 5, positive 12, and negative 5. Um, the thing to keep in mind is that to ensure that they are all generating the voltages with respect to the same uh, ground reference, you need to make sure that all of the uh, power supplies are tied together at their grounding posts.